Hello from Mata Forest. Good really, morning. It's really cold right now. <laughs> uh, it was warm earlier. No, but we're outside because that seems to be the thing to do this week. Yes. So we want to start out by saying Happy Valentine's Day in two days. Yeah. Um, so at our school we have this, this thing called Candy Grams where uh, people send each other these really awesome val mini Valentines. And um, I got this one from a certain friend of mine. And I don't know if you can read it, but it says, Courtney, your love with me sleeps with the fishes unless you undulate with me to prom. Signed, M. How awesome Who's is that? M? I don't Who's know. I don't know. Is this a random row, maybe? I mean, wait. Spiegelman, maybe? Does that sound familiar? I don't, I don't know. All right. <laughs> so that was kind of the highlight of my week. Um, so we have got some very exciting theater news. Because, well, it's kind of like outdated. But since we haven't made videos, you don't know. So it's new news. Anyways, so um, last two Thursdays ago, I think, well, no, I got into Cat 21, Yay! which happens to be this pre-college musical theater program it's during very the summer. Nice. And it's really intense and stuff, and I'm really excited. I'm going to spend a month in New York City. Yes. Well, actually, I'll be commuting, but I'll oh, be in New York, and I'm going to become a New Yorker. Yeah. It's going to be fun. <laughs> and uh, my drama news is kind of more local. Um, so remember when I was talking, it's very windy, sorry, uh, when I was talking about uh, this play that I wrote for Drama Fest, it won first place. So I'm really psyched. Um, <laughs> we did casting this week, and um, we're going to start rehearsals after Mame, uh, or during Mame, during Mame. And so that'll be kind of exciting. Anyone who's local should come check it out because I'm quite pleased with it. By the way, the Princess Sinner show is like the <laughs> like it's like the princess version of Margot Rossby. So he says yes. I, I like love her play. <laughs> it's so cute. Thanks. Man. <laughs> um, so main rehearsals are going under very, very well. Yes. Uh, going over very well. Yeah. Um, we're, we're like we're not behind, but we're like chasing right now. Yeah. So, like, so, so we're kind of at a good spot. Right. Yeah. Um, so last night we had this really awesome late night rehearsal. Um, that we, went to like nine. Yeah, we started so after school fun. ended, and we went. We stayed until nine o'clock, and we had dinner. We had we ate, all ate lasagna as a cast. Yeah. And it was grand fun. It was delicious. It was delicious lasagna. It came from Costco, by the way. Oh really? Yeah, it was really good lasagna for yeah. so it made me happy. Um, what else were we going to talk about? Oh, um, so Emma challenged me to do something healthy. Yes. And for me, a kid who basically is in school and doesn't ever leave the house and enjoys nature, <laughs> I think being outside and breathing fresh air is really healthy. Plus, my mom always told me that if you get like sunlight, which is right now, <laughs> but if you get like fresh air, like that's like supposed to make you like happy. Also gonna get, uh, start taking calcium pills because my bones are like because he doesn't drink milk. Like, but he's going to, so that's another helpful thing. And Emma, um, I remember your challenge to me to watch Planet Earth. Uh, I remembered that today. Sorry, <laughs> but um, since we're on break now, hopefully I can take it out from the library and watch it over the weekend, which will be good. Okay. Um, Finally, we have a challenge. We do have a challenge. Oh wait, we don't know who we're gonna give it to. But we have a challenge. Um, it was to write, right? Yes, Olivia. I'm challenging you. We collectively are challenging you to write something inspirational in a public bathroom. I've done this a couple of times, and it, it's fun. And if you take a picture of it and send it to all of us, that would be awesome. We're gonna put it in your video. It's much like that girl in the realm of possibility. Yeah. And it might affect someone's life. Ooh. And for good or for bad. For good. Oh. Which I'm sorry I haven't posted in the past three. I, I suck is the only excuse. I don't have time. Um, <laughs> my word of the week is maudlin. And it means sad, but in more of a bittersweet kind of way. Like, yeah, glo sorry. gloomy almost, but not you know not completely bad. Sort of like Tim Burton, except less without the creepy. Right. Ooh. Yeah. Tim Burton. By the way, um, I'm dying to see Coraline. If anyone's seen it, let me know how it is. I'm I really want to see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for that. Uh, did we have anything else to talk about? I don't think that was it. All right. I didn't say much. You were doing all the talking. I'm sorry. No, it's Do you fine. have anything else you want to? I don't know. Tell the YouTube. My YouTube. Tell YouTube. Hey, YouTube, guys. <laughs> all right. I think we're good. Um, so, with our town library in the background, um, farewell. Enjoy your week. And happy Valentine's Day. We love you all. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs>